Joe Zolger here with Dr. Malone for another segment of uh, ZTV. Um, today we're talking, uh, he's going to try to convince me to, ha to get a flu shot because I am convinced that the flu shot gives me the flu for at least for a week or so and I don't want to deal with that w weird flu feeling for a week. So go ahead doc, convince me to get, to get the flu shot. Okay, so <laughs> apart from any of the other debates about whether or not you should get vaccinated and all that. Yeah, we're not getting into yeah, that. We're not, That's a whole this, other this thing. Is a completely different yeah, topic. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, topic, uh, current events, I usually try to look through the news and see what's going on and try and keep Joe up to date and see what we can share with others. So, this is more of a public service announcement than anything. Month of October, you got to get your flu shot. And the best way to prevent against the flu is to get your flu vaccine and to get it now so that your body has time to build up immunity. In talking with Joe, he says, I don't want to get it because it makes me feel poorly for a couple of days. You may feel poorly, but you will feel much worse with the flu, okay? So the definition of the flu, there's a whole medical definition of it, but the real easy way to look at things when do doctors have so many people come into their office during the peak months in the winter is if you feel like you got hit by a truck, you have the flu. If you got the sniffles and a little bit of like fever, you don't have the flu to go home. Okay, so you're gonna feel like you got hit by a truck without it. So, so your you, body's sore head to toe. Exactly, that's okay. the myalgia. Yeah. You can't even move, you can't think straight, you don't even wanna get out of bed. Okay, and so if you feel like that after your flu shot, yeah, don't take it. Well, I don't feel that yeah. bad, but it yeah. just feels like a little. Yeah, and that's very common. Yeah. A lot of people have that, that's their immune system responding to the vaccine. And there's what they call a live attenuated vaccine. That's the one that you inhale through your nose. And a lot of people like that because it's not a shot, it's quick, it's easy, you can do it in a lot of other settings without having to sit people down and pull up their arm sleeve and all that stuff. So those are the ones where you may feel a little like feverish for a couple of days, but again, not nearly as bad as having the flu. So to put things in perspective, um, the flu, when it's a bad year, they're talking like 35 million people are infected with it. They're not all measurable cases, but that's just based on the statistics from the CDC. Of those people, you're looking at maybe 100,000 deaths, give or take, and that's, again, hard to pin that number down because a lot of times you don't know the cause of death and you're just doing it based upon what you think they're admitted with and if they're tested for it. So a lot of times people are gonna be ill from something else and the flu was on board with it as well. So this is something that's pretty, you can't ignore this. And besides not wanting to get sick yourself, you don't wanna get other people sick. So if you think, hey, I'm a healthy person, I never get sick, I'm not on any medications, I never have to see the doctor, but you're spending any time with someone who has any kind of condition, whether they're over the age of 65, they're a child under the age of two, they have diabetes, lung disease, uh, liver disease, kidney disease, anything like that, your vaccination could also protect them in that you don't bring it into the home, perhaps, as easily. So my recommendation is to get your vaccination, that's the recommendation of the CDC. That's the best way to prevent getting the illness. Beyond that, just the normal. Wash your hands. Yeah, exactly. The normal everyday things that you should pay attention, you should do all year round, but especially in the winter months, washing your hands, avoiding direct contact with people that you think are sick. Um, the scary thing is you can be infected for about a day or two and not know it till you have your symptoms and you're contagious at that time. Oh yeah. So again, if you're in close quarters with someone who is not feeling well, you need to do everything in your power to try to limit your exposure, like taking it into work. Some people say the worst place you can go if you have the flu is go to work, and that's the truth. Instead of being all proud of, you know, I pushed through, I didn't want to miss a day of work, you may be causing more harm to the people that are around you. Right. So uh, if you get a flu shot, a flu shot, is that all the flus or just one particular kind of flu? Because that's another one of my concerns. Yeah. It's like, oh, if I get this shot, does that mean I get no flu or I just get that certain kind of flu? Yeah, so every year this is population level uh, guesstimation, if you will, where there's three strains this year that are being vaccinated for. And it was different the year before and different the year before. And they base those numbers on what the trends are. And in some parts of the country, they do different uh, strains as well. So you're gonna have three strains, so you could be infected by a strain that is not covered for. Uh -huh. the, the, the statisticians out there, the folks that are making the gamble on this, hope that they guessed right. And so you can still get sick from a different strain. You can still get sick from one of the strains you're vaccinated against if your body didn't respond to the vaccine, though rare. And then you can also, if you don't get vaccinated in time, let's say you wait and it's January, and say, oh, you know what, I, I, I'm just gonna do it. I haven't finally changed my mind, I'm gonna do it. Well, if at Christmas time you're spending time around someone who was sick, you got infected, you got vaccinated, you got sick a week later, that vaccine didn't have a chance to do its job. How long does it take for the vaccine to start working? Two weeks. 
Oh, so wow. that's why they advise by the end of October. So oh, oh, I see. So even though it doesn't feel like winter here, yeah, you're getting prepared for that. Exactly. Okay, well that makes sense. All right, well I'll think about it some more. Um, anyway, if you have questions about the flu shot or any other uh, malady that relates to uh, a personal injury law firm, we're happy to help help you or entertain that. Uh, question. There's more info. The oh. CDC link we're going to share with you guys as oh, well. Oh, that's going to be down there. There's plenty of uh, of informational like graphics and passages that are real easy to digest and make a lot of sense. They're not all high end statistics and things like that that will dizzy. I didn't you know they you. changed it every year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that that gives me a little bit more uh, confidence in the in the vaccination. Then, all right. So, um, get your flu shot. No matter what I do, get your flu shot. Where do you get it? You, well, most doctor's offices aren't offering it anymore because it costs more to stock it and administer it and all that than the way they get reimbursed by insurance. So most people go to a, a flu clinic where they're offering them, you know, you can just walk them and get it. But personally, I just go to the pharmacy. I go to CVS or Walgreens, give them my insurance card, and the pharmacist puts it in. The pharmacy does it in your arm? or does, yeah. mm -hmm. I didn't know a pharmacy could give a shot. Yeah. I, I, the, the, the farm D usually that's on staff there yeah. will give you the injection. They're certified to... Give shots? Yeah, that's right. I did that last year. I didn't know that. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, um, go to that website down here for CDC information. If you have any questions about this or any other personal injury matter, you can call us at 855-HIRE-JOE or on the web at zarzalaw.com. Thank you. Thanks, Doc. Mm -hmm.